thank you for joining us for today's virtual adult story time at Bosler. Uh, today we'll be reading a portion of the short story Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, before we be begin, uh, I'll just chat a little bit about my cat, Derek, who I've had for about six years. Uh, we got Derek um, at Furry Friends Shelter in 2016. He was just one year old. Um, and he was very friendly and reminded us of our past cat uh, that we had named Charlie. He was also a black uh, tuxedo. Um, and he also just had this really friendly personality that we enjoyed. Um, and throughout this time, he's helped us heal and be that loyal and faithful friend of ours and our family. Um, and this leads us to our virtual adult story time of Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe, which is a very neat um, and gothic story about um, before the narrator uh, passes, uh, he talks about his black cat named Pluto and um, his experience with him. Let's begin. The Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe From my infancy, I was noted for the docility and humanity of my disposition. My tenderness of heart was even so conspicuous as to make me the jest of my companions. I was especially fond of animals and was indulged by my parents with a great variety of pets. With these, I spent most of my time and never was so happy as when feeding and caressing them. This peculiar of character grew with my growth, and in my manhood I derived from it one of my principal sources of pleasure. To those who have cherished an affection for a faithful and sagacious dog, I need hardly be at the trouble of explaining the nature or the intensity of the gratification thus derivable. There is something in the unselfish and self-sacrificing love of a brute which goes directly to the heart of him who has had frequent occasion to test the paltry friendship and gossamer fidelity of mere man. I married early and was happy to find in my wife a disposition not uncongenial with my own. Observing my partiality for domestic pets, she lost no opportunity of procuring those of the most agreeable kind. We had birds, goldfish, a fine dog, rabbits, a small monkey, and a cat. This latter was a remarkably large and beautiful animal, entirely black and sagacious to an astonishing degree. In speaking of his intelligence, my wife, who at heart was not a little tinctured with stupor superstition, made frequent allusion to the ancient popular notion, which regarded all black cats as witches in disguise. Not that she was ever serious upon this point, and I mention the matter at all for no better reason than that it happens, just now, to be remembered. Pluto, this was the cat's name, was my favorite pet and playmate. I alone fed him, and he attended me wherever I went about the house. It was even with difficulty that I could prevent him from following me through the streets. Our friendship lasted in this manner for several years, during which my general temperament and character, through the instrumentality of the fiend and temperance, had, I blush to confess it, experienced a radical alteration for the worse. I grew, day by day, more moody, more irritable, more regardless of the feelings of others. I suffered myself to use intemperate language to my wife. My pets, of course, were made to feel the change in my disposition. For Pluto, however, I still retained sufficient regard to restrain me from maltreating him, as I made no scruple of maltreating the rabbits, the monkey, or even the dog, when by accident or through affection they came in my way. 
the end.